Okay, so obviously the first thing we're gonna do is go to mercari.com and once you're there and you're logged in, you'll just hit that little person over on the right side and click on sell. And this will take us to the listing screen. So it's pretty quick to get there. And then I already have um, my folder with the, picture, the pictures for the item I want to list open. And I do have eight pictures. I always recommend using as many pictures as you can and Mercari lets you use eight. So I just drag and drop those over. If you can't drag and drop, you can also just click on that little box that was there and go and find them on your computer. And then now I'm just writing the title and Mercari only gives you 40 characters, which is smaller than eBay and also Poshmark. So sometimes it's a little hard to kind of figure out how to fit in. Now I'm just kind of checking the size so that I can add that into the title, which I don't always do if it doesn't fit um, because people often search by the size in the size um, in like the filter section. So I don't always put that in the title, but now I'm just gonna do a quick description. I always put the size if it's a clothing item, I'll do measurements and then I'll give them a description of the condition. So I keep it pretty short, um, but do I am honest about the condition about the item, the item that there might be signs of wear. I like to add that because people might think something's coming perfectly new when it's a used item. So I like to add that. And then for hashtags, um, I don't always add anything in here. I don't know that people search by hashtags, but when I do, I try to be as generic as possible. So I, I do the brand, I do the type of shoe, etc. And then the category is women's flats. And the thing I love about Mercari is it gives you suggestions. So um, it kind of takes the title and guesses for you and sometimes it's right. So now I'm just doing the size. And when I click brand, Born is one of the suggested brands because it picked that up from the title, which helps make listing a lot easier and faster, which I love about Mercari. For condition, I always use good for used items because I don't want to use like new or new unless it has tags and it's actually new. And then I do my zip code and I don't usually do free shipping and it will suggest a shipping weight based on the item that you're listing. Um, but always pick the shipping weight that works for your item. Make sure you weigh it ahead of time. And I already know that mine is between one and three pounds. So I select that and I give the buyer a chance to do FedEx or USPS. And then I just add the price and I click list. Listing on Mercari is so quick and so easy and that's what I love about it. So now we can view the item and you can see there's my new item on Mercari. And that took us like two minutes, which is amazing. Now I'm gonna show you how to list on your phone because I know some of you are going to be using your phone to do this. So it's actually pretty easy. Same kind of thing as on the desktop, but I wanted to show you this method as well. So the first thing you're gonna do is hit that little sell button at the bottom once you're in the Mercari app. And then you're going to click that little box at the top that looks like a camera. Once you're in there, you can either click library to take or to grab photos that you already have, or you can take photos directly in the app. I usually take my photos all at once so that I'm not going back and forth, um, but you can do it however you want. And here's the item that I'm selling. These are little seed pod kits. So I'm gonna put Aero Garden, Gourmet Herb, Seed Pod, And it's a lot of 10, so I'm gonna add that in there. I'm gonna try and add as many words as I can without going over that 40 characters limit. And then for category, for this item, the category doesn't really exist, so I'm just gonna kind of use home and go to other. Um, most of the time there will be a category for things that you're listing, but once in a while, it's not there, so that's fine. And then for brand, a lot of times it will suggest a brand, but in this case it did not. So I'm just going to find it myself. And then my condition is new because these are brand new. And then I'm just gonna type in a short description mentioning that this is a lot of sealed boxes of this variety of seeds for an arrow garden. And then I'm going to add some tags. Like I said before, I don't know how much these tags help, but whatever, might as well. I have my zip code in there already, and then I'm going to select my shipping. I will go over shipping right after this, I show you this, just to kind of give you a really good overview of shipping, because I know it can be confusing to some. So uh, I selected buyer paying shipping, and then now I'm just putting in my price, and I'm gonna list it. And that's it. Took about, what, a minute and 30 seconds?
Done. Okay, I quickly wanted to go over shipping options on Mercari with you. Shipping on Mercari is pretty simple, but if you're new to shipping online or Mercari, it might be kind of hard to navigate when you're getting started. So I wanted to go over that with you. You always enter your zip code right here because um, if you're using a Mercari label, it wants to know where you're shipping from so that it can generate that label. But also if you are doing your own shipping um, through like a third party website, or if you're going to the post office to do it that way, um, I guess it just shows, it shows your buyer where the item's coming from. So if they're in California and they want to get something quickly, they might try to buy something in California versus New York where it's going to take a little bit longer to get to them. So um, down here where it says um, offer buyers free shipping, they really push free shipping on Mercari, but I generally don't do it. Um, you can if you want. Um, if you do, I always pad the price a little bit so that I can cover that free shipping. So it doesn't really matter either way. Um, I just prefer to have kind of a lower price with paid shipping. Uh, that's just the way I kind of run my business, but feel free to do it however works for you and experiment to see what works. So first we're gonna click yes, and this is gonna pop up. And this is the same on mobile and desktop, um, so don't worry about any um, differences there. It looks pretty much exactly the same. So your shipping options when you're having, when you're paying for shipping and it's free for the buyer are either a prepaid label through Mercari or ship your own. If you click ship your own, all the other options disappear, you just click save, and when that item sells, they'll just give you the address and it's up to you to either um, do shipping through the USPS website, physically go into the USPS location and ship it that way. Another website I use sometimes is pirateship.com. Um, that one has some good rates, but I find that honestly, it's too time consuming to go in to do it myself when I could just get a label automatically from Mercari, their rates are pretty good. So. We're going to click edit and we're going to go to prepaid label and then what you're going to do is click a shipping weight so you will need to know how much this item weighs um, i will link down below the postage scale that i use you need to know how much it weighs with the packaging like ready to go so put the item in the envelope or the box or whatever you're going to ship it in and weigh it that way and then mercari is going to suggest a weight based on what you're sh what you're selling so i'm this is for shoes so it's saying it's going to be three to 10 pounds. I know these are flats and they're not over a pound or they're not over three pounds. They're probably closer to a pound. So I'm going to select this. They're going to give you this little warning just to make sure that you're not underweighing it because we don't want to mess up with USPS. And then once you've picked your shipping weight, all you have to do is select the carrier you want to use. And this is if you're paying. So if you're paying, you have to pick one or one of these three and you only get one choice because it will, um, generate the label for you once that item sells. So you can pick it based on where you want to drop it off. You can pick it based on price. Um, so USPS, you can either drop it off at the post office or schedule pickup at usps.com, FedEx. We drop our FedEx off at Walgreens. I think all Walgreens except FedEx um, packages. So we always drop ours off at Walgreens because the nearest FedEx is like 15, 20 minutes away and Walgreens is just down the street for us. Or if you're maybe shipping something really high end you can do mercari pack and ship as you can see the price is a lot higher but you basically just drop the item off you don't have to pack it or anything drop it off at ups and they take care of the rest for you um, i believe you just maybe print out the label i'm not sure 100 percent how it works but i'm gonna guess that 99 percent of people are not going to use this option um so yeah you would pick one of these and then when the item sells it will provide you with the correct label. So that's that option. And then if you decide not to offer free shipping, this options are the same. You still pick the class that you want, which I would pick one to three pounds. But since the buyer is choosing or is paying for shipping, you can have them choose whatever they want. So if you want to give them two different options, you can click both of those. Or if you don't feel like dropping off at FedEx, you can deselect that one and only offer USPS. So it's totally up to you. It's actually pretty easy once you do it a couple of times um, and then you just click save and you're good to go. You just click, well, this is a listing that already exists. So you would just click update, but on a new listing, you just click list and you'd be done. So hopefully that kind of helps you navigate shipping a little easier on Mercari. I love shipping on Mercari. It's so easy. Mm -hmm.